Welcome back to this last part of the Gold Skull Tala Guide. Aww. This is part 10. And yes, after this you've got all 100 of them. In the last video we stopped at the Spirit Temple. And since we already had all the Gold Skull Tellers there, now we're moving on to the front of the Spirit Temple. As a kid, you placed a magic bean in a soft soil patch. And now, there's a nice flower. Go stand on that flower. And then on this area, jump off. Watch out for flying monsters here. Because they certainly will attack you. Now, if it's not night, the gold skulltella won't be there. So make sure it becomes night by playing the sun song. Or if it's night, just, you know, kill it. Now it's night. And it hit me and it hit me again. That stupid gold skulltella. Anyway, kill it. And that's number 91. Only nine more to go. Next up, before the entrance of Gerudo Valley, which is still located in Hyrule Field. In this area here, with the small rocks in a circle and a big rock in the middle of it, use your bomb to blow up the big rock, but that's not working, but you could hear already that something was happening, which means the hole is now open. For this one, you gotta need your hammer. Smash the rock with your hammer. And then the hole is visible. Jump down. As you can see, there are cobwebs everywhere there. So the easiest way to do this is using your dense fire to open up all the areas. And now just a quick search. And I guess the one there with the cow, that's the one you gotta need. Because there in the right upper corner is your next gold skulltella. Get yourself your long shot. Kill it. And that's number 92. Now for number 93, let's head back to the Dongo's Cavern. Yeah, in the first part or the second part it was, I told you that we needed to go back here as an adult because we couldn't get all the gold skulltellers. And that's true. So now we're back in the last part of this video. Make sure you're walking to watch here. Be careful for the little exploding dodungos. And for this you gotta need your scarecrow song once again. And again, if you can't remember the song, just head back as a kid to Lake Hylia, talk with one of the scarecrows there, and they will reteach you that song. And if you still know it, just play the song. and the scarecrow will appear. With your long shot you can shoot up there and there you can find your next gold skulltella. And that's number 93. For 94 we're keeping it with Dodongo's Cavern. We go out of this area the same way we came in And then we just cross this area here. Through the door. And here we're gonna use a bomb in order to lower the stairs once again. The same as we did as a kid.
Now, just climb the stairs. There, up there, is the next gold skulltella. But you can't reach it from there, so make sure you're just standing here on the edge, and then you might be able to get it. Use your long shot to kill it. And that's number 94. For number 95, the entrance of Zora's Domain. But we're not getting in, we're going a little bit back into Zora's River. Make sure for these as well that it's night time, because otherwise they won't appear. Here, just before the bridge, look up with your long shot, and there on the wall is your next gold scotella. Kill it, and that's number 95. Only five more to go! Almost there. Now, from that same spot, let's go back further. Just jump down in the water. Watch out for the enemies here. Jump down once again and climb up here on a small ledge. Climb up the ladder here. And then make a turn to the left. And there, on the wall, you can see number 96. Once again, use your long shot in order to kill it. Almost. Aiming is hard with those controllers. And then you got yourself number 96. Next up, Zora's Fountain. We couldn't do this one before because we needed to add the silver gauntlets, the ones we achieved in the spirit temple. And since we finished that temple now, we can get this one. So make sure you head towards the fairy fountain here and lift that rock there, the only gray rock there. Then there's a small hole appearing, a square hole. Go down there, and as you can see, you got yourself some magic potions and some arrows. Now, use your lens of truth because there are a lot of big skulltulas hanging on the ceiling there, but they're invisible. Climb up here. Then there's one last big scotilla. Also kill that one. And then on the left side on the wall is number 97. Also kill that one with your long shot. That's the next one. Three more to go. All right. The entrance of Gerudo Valley as a kid. Because we didn't go there yet. Make sure also it's night. And there on the middle of the plank, on the wall, above the little waterfall, is the next gold scotella. Kill it with your slingshot, get yourself your boomerang, and now it's two more to go. Then continue here, and just don't jump down the same way I do. Okay, that's better. Okay, pick up the chicken here. Hello chicken, come here, thank you. Now walk to the right here, and then jump off the edge. You can already see a ledge there, and that's where we want to land. Now also for this one, make sure you get yourself a bug, because we're gonna place a bug in a soft soil patch once again. 
This, by the way, might also be a good moment to tell you guys that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my future content. And of course, you can watch all the other guides back. But subscribing to the channel will help the channel grow. Which is awesome, of course. And also, when you're there, just hit the like button so we know you like it and it was helpful. Plenty buck in your soft soil patch and just wait a little bit. And there's your next one. Kill it! And now it's only one more to go. Now back as an adult. From the Temple of Time. Make your way towards Ganon's castle. Things change there. Big time. Look, even Link is excited to see that you almost got all the 100 gold scotillas. Don't let him down now. Okay, once we enter this area, moving on to this little broken arch there. I can't remember it was further back, but oh well, maybe Ganon replaced it or something. I don't know. Anyway, at the back there, is your last gold Skultilla, number 100. Kill it with your long shot, and there you go, number 100. You got it, you got them all. Now, back to the house of Skultilla. There's this guy dancing. Since you've destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And what do you get? 200 rupees. Wow. Seriously? 200 rupees? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Not really that I could use it, but still, thanks a lot. Anyway, thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks for you guys for hanging out this entire 10 part Gold Skulltella guide. I hope these 10 parts were helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if it actually was helpful or not, or if I could do anything to improve this. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. See ya!